Have you ever wondered what it would be like to wake up to the end of the world, a cataclysmic event that obliterates life as we know it? A chilling thought, isn't it? But did you know that our planet has already faced this grim reality, not once, but five times before? Yes. Yes, five major extinction events have swept across the face of Earth, reshaping its biologic. These extinction events, often referred to as the Big Five, were the catalyst for profound transformations in our planet's biosphere. They heralded the end of certain species and opened the evolutionary door for others. From the Ordovician Silurian extinction that wiped out 70% of marine species, to the Cretaceous Paleogene event that led to the demise of the dinosaurs, each of these cataclysms has shaped our planet's rich biodiversity. But why do we need to delve into these ancient tales? Why does it matter to us now? Well, the answers lie in the lessons these events hold for our future. By understanding the causes and consequences of these extinctions, we can better appreciate our planet's delicate balance and the role we play in maintaining it. These extinction events serve as stark reminders of the transient nature of life and the fragility of our ecosystems. They underline the impacts of global changes and the importance of biodiversity for our planet's health. But most importantly, they offer insights into the potential fate that awaits us should we fail to heed the lessons of the past. Before we dive deeper into the abyss of our planet's past, let's take a moment to breathe. If you're enjoying this journey through time, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share our video. Every interaction helps us bring more such intriguing content your way. It's your support that fuels our explorations into the mysteries of the universe. Now let's delve back into the echoes of extinction and what they mean for our future. Stay tuned. Imagine the Earth teeming with life and then in a blink, silence. This is the echo of extinction. From the Ordovician Silurian extinction where 86% of life was erased, to the late Devonian where 75% of species vanished, we, we journey through time to the Permian Triassic event, the mother of all extinctions, obliterating 96% of marine species. The Triassic and Jurassic extinction then cleared the stage for a new era of rulers, the dinosaurs. But even their reign was ended by the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction, a cataclysm that extinguished 75% of all species. Yet life persisted. It adapted, evolved, and thrived, demonstrating an awe-inspiring resilience and survival instinct. Each extinction event, a devastating echo, yet a testament to life's tenacity. But with each echo, we're reminded of a universal truth. Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. These whispers of a bygone era are the echoes of an impending saga lurking on the cosmic horizon. As we journey forward in time, a new threat looms large climate change. This isn't a tale of distant futures or far-off worlds, but a very real present danger. Rising temperatures aren't just about hotter summers or colder winters, they're about a delicate balance, a ballet of biodiversity that's been choreographed over billions of years. Every degree of change sends ripples through this dance, pushing some species to extinction while others struggle to adapt. Forests become savannas, ice caps melt into oceans, deserts expand their barren grasp. Yet amidst this upheaval, life persists, evolves, and adapts. But there's a limit to this resilience. As the scales tip, as the dance stumbles, we must ask ourselves, are we on the brink of a sixth extinction? Are we pulling at the threads of a tapestry woven over epics, unknowingly unraveling the very fabric of life itself? Is climate change the ominous prelude to an impending sixth extinction? Only time will tell. As the world changes, new threats emerge from the shadows. The footprints of our changing planet are not just etched in the rise of temperatures or melting ice caps, they surface as the silent whispers of new diseases, born from the disturbance of ancient ecosystems and the encroachment of human activity into the wild. Simultaneously, another menace lurks beneath the waves. Our oceans, once alkaline, now whisper acidic tales. The culprits? Excessive carbon dioxide emissions dissolving into the seas and tipping the delicate pH balance. This acidification threatens the very foundation of marine life, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. These threats, diseases, and acidic oceans act as invisible puppeteers, pulling the strings of biodiversity and potentially our survival. Are these the veiled menaces shaping our planet's fate? Are these the clandestine orchestrators of a global cataclysm? The answer lies in the shadows. In the shadows of our actions, unintended consequences emerge. As we forge our path, 
we shape the world around us, often in ways we scarcely comprehend. It's a complex dance, a delicate balance between the will of humanity and the resilience of nature. Consider the invasive species those uninvited guests that hitch a ride on our global networks, only to wreak havoc in new, unprepared ecosystems. They are the shadowy footprints we leave behind, the ripple effects of our relentless march towards progress. From the Burmese pythons in the Florida Everglades, to the zebra mussels clogging North American waterways, these invaders disrupt the delicate balance of biodiversity, often with dire consequences. And then there's the specter of technology, our own creation, casting long shadows that reach into every corner of our lives, from the extraction of precious resources to power our devices to the electronic waste that clutters our landfills. The ghost of technology haunts our planet. It's a phantom menace, one that we've birthed and nurtured, yet struggled to control. But perhaps the most profound shadows we cast are those that alter the very face of our Earth. Changes to land use from deforestation to urban sprawl are reshaping our world at an unprecedented pace. These shifts, driven by our insatiable appetite for space and resources, are causing habitats to vanish, species to disappear, and climates to change. In the end, the question we must grapple with is a disquieting one. Are we the architects of our own demise? Are we, in our pursuit of progress, inadvertently setting the stage for the sixth great extinction? It's a chilling thought, one that forces us to confront the weight of our influence and the legacy of our actions. But within these shadows, there's also an opportunity for change, for redemption, if we can learn to recognize the impacts of our actions, to tread more lightly on this precious planet, perhaps we can alter the course we're on. Are we unwitting architects of our own extinction? The answers lie in the shadows of our choices. In the face of impending doom, a glimmer of hope shines through. This beacon is conservation, a vital tool in our global arsenal to preserve the breathtaking tapestry of life that adorns our world. Conservation is more than just saving individual species, it's about safeguarding ecosystems, the intricate, interwoven threads of life that sustain us all. From the towering rainforests, Earth's lungs, to the teeming oceans, our planet's lifeblood, every ecosystem is a vital chapter in our shared story. And in this age of unprecedented global change, these chapters are threatened, but we are not helpless. Through active conservation efforts, we can protect these precious pages from being torn away. We can create sustainable systems that respect and nurture biodiversity. We can form global alliances to tackle shared challenges. Every action, every decision, every step we take in the direction of conservation casts a light, illuminating a new path forward. Can we rewrite the cosmic narrative and chart a new course? The answer awaits in the penultimate chapter. As we gaze into the cosmos, a celestial riddle emerges. The star of our story is a cosmic wanderer named Apophis. Now Apophis is no ordinary asteroid. This enigmatic celestial body carries with it an air of suspense, a cosmic plot twist in our shared narrative. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, Apophis travels the solar system, weaving an unpredictable path. This asteroid, with its ominous moniker, poses a potential threat to our home planet, Earth. As it orbits the sun, Apophis performs a cosmic dance, a ballet of celestial bodies that is as fascinating as it is unnerving. Every so often, it swings close to Earth, its path influenced by the gravitational pull of our planet and the Sun. But here's where the plot thickens. Will Apophis, on its second pass, brush against Earth? This question hangs in the balance, a suspenseful note in the symphony of the cosmos. Our celestial fate remains uncertain. Will the asteroid Apophis brush against Earth on its second pass? The answer lies in the stars. In the face of cosmic threats, humanity rises to the challenge. From the vast expanse of the cosmos, threats like asteroid Apophis loom large, but we're not standing idle. We're planning, strategizing, and preparing for any celestial curveballs. Our defense strategies are as diverse as they are innovative. Advanced tracking systems scan the skies, alerting us to potential threats. There are cosmic watchdogs, our first line of defense, but we're not just watching, we're acting. Celestial missions like the one to asteroid Bennu help us understand these cosmic bodies better. Every bit of data brings us one step closer to knowing how to defend ourselves. The role of technology cannot be overstated. It's our sword and shield in this cosmic battle.
From Earthbound tracking stations to spacefaring missions, we're marshalling every resource to protect our precious home. A call to arms echoes through the cosmos. The cosmic war is waged defending our precious realm. As we journey through the cosmic symphony, we realize our place in the universe. We are but a speck in the grand scheme of things, yet our existence, our actions have far-reaching consequences. We are both insignificant and monumental, powerless and powerful. We are the guardians of a tiny blue dot, suspended in a sunbeam, our only home. It's up to us to ensure the survival of our species and the planet. As we wage war on cosmic threats, we must also wage war on our own destructive tendencies in the grand orchestra of the cosmos. Every action we take is a note played. Let's make it harmonious. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Your support helps us unravel more cosmic mysteries.